Good day. Good morning, boys and girls. DJ Click from Hit Squad DJs. A special unboxing video brought to you by AGI Pro DJ and Hit Squad DJs along with Rain. Uh, obviously, Rain 12s and the Rain 72. Let's start with the 12s, 72. I want to start with the 72 uh, just because it's the mothership of this system. Let's put these things down on the ground. I this I just picked these up this morning. Today's Wednesday, so this is all fresh. This is probably a box in a box. Comes box in a box. How to get it out of here? These are uh, really nice boxes. There we go. We have some paperwork. USB cables, two USB cables, manuals, stickers, it's always good stuff, uh, power cord, this is a standard IEC power cable, straight. Boy, over and get it out. Maybe well. There we go. And for the Serato collectors, brand new set of blacks comes with the mixer, which is really weird, but simple rain fashion. tear into my stuff because I saved the boxes and packing just in case you never know warranty issues it's always good to keep your stuff There we have it, the new Rain 72. Build quality is still all metal chassis. Faders, typical Rain faders seem really solid. New toggles, these toggles are reversible. So you can lock them in the on position up or flip this whole thing around and lock it so they go down. The pads, they feel like Akaya pads. Um, Q, auto loop, roll, sample, slicer. Five pad modes, plus they're layered, shift layer. Shift button in the middle. That is an old school, if you're familiar with the Rain 62, that is a Rain 62 button. The feel, the click. So are the cues and the parameter buttons. They're uh, kind of a harder plastic. Let's get that power cord out. Let's power, let's power cycle this guy. Let's get all the lights and power cycling this up.
There it is. Obviously, it is in analog mode uh, since there's no Serato hooked up to it, so no cues, rolls. Um, so there it is. Effect selector. Depth, if you're familiar with the original ring technology, so the depths. Uh, let's turn this bad boy on, let's power cycle it off. And it's off. We'll turn it around, you get a good look at the back, and we'll go over the connections. AEC in, two USBs, uh, deck A, deck, deck A, deck B. These are our inputs for the 72s. The 12s, I'm sorry, these are the 12s. More or less a USB hub. Main puts, XLR outs, mics, two mic inputs, lines and mics. So you have uh, line puts, phonos, CDs, line plugs. Pretty typical arrange stuff. Quarter inch uh, boots out, pretty solid there. And the front inputs. Here's your mic adjustments for mic number two. Uh, Channel curve, crossfader curve, deck two curve, deck swap, and all your reverse switches. Up faders are reversible, crossfaders are reversible, and up fader deck two is reversible. Foot switch, typical rain, and head foot, headphones, quarter inch and eighth inch mini jack. The nice little bumpers on here, metal bumpers to protect the front knobs. And there's the underside chassis. All righty. We're gonna now we're gonna turn to I'm gonna clear the workbench really quick and I'm gonna move on to the 12s. Let's grab this 12. Same thing. First time ever opening the 12. Uh, I did see these at NAM this year, so I I have had hands on with these. Only a hand, but uh, this is an unboxing video. Same thing, box in a box. Very nicely packaged. This is the platter for the 12. Now what do we have? Another USB cable, an Allen wrench, and the instructions. Once again, I save all my, my packing. Start stop, 4533, standard pitch, 8, 16, and 50. Uh, all these buttons feel like the original little bit, 62 buttons, third generation 62 buttons. Uh, I'll probably need this Allen wrench to set the tension on the spindle. You guys are familiar with any of the old Denon products, 35, 37, 39s. That's uh, pretty much the same thing. So what do we have here? We have a platter. Really well packed. Uh, platter attaches to the spindle base. Those have to be lined up. Okay, 
Maybe if I can get him in there. What else is in this box? A rain slip mat. And the record. The almighty record. It has the adapter pre attached to the vinyl. You can take standard, any vinyl if you want. Lay the adapter on the spindle, trace the dots, and drill holes, and you have the adapter in there. Uh, somewhere, right there, if you can get that. I don't know, you can see that little hole, the Allen wrench there. That's how you set the tension on the platter surface. So. Slip mat. Uh, pretty flimsy. I will probably be running DJ Henry custom slip blades. And if you can see, if you can zoom in here, the spindle has a little groove in there where this Allen wrench, this Allen screw goes to set the tension. So that, press it down, tighter you push it, tighter the tension, resistance it. All right, let's check out the front of this thing. Nothing, typical rain build, all metal chassis, super solid. What about the feet? It does have adjustable feet on it in case you're on an uneven table. Um, it's pretty nice, nice billet aluminum feet. Turn this bad boy around. IEC power, motor torque, high and low. Uh, yeah, this is the USB output that goes into either a powered hub so you can run it with any mixer or you come out of here and into the 72 and that's how they work. Let's flip this bad boy around and do a power cycle on it for you guys. Right now it's in deck two, three. It's going through the deck assignments. Uh, once this is hooked up to the software, uh, you have to assign the player to what deck you want it to. So deck one, assigns it to deck one, two. You can use 112 pretty much to run two decks. Um, they say you can run four. I don't know how easy that would be. I don't know. 4533, uh, start, stop, off and on button. Um, that is the high torque motor. It has pretty good tension to it. Um, instant stop. So, 8, 16, 50. These are, this is a uh, Q mode. When it's not in Q mode, hooked up to the software, this is like a needle search strip or a needle drop. Um, but Q points, eight Q points hooked up to Serato DJ Pro. That is it. There's uh, one other thing I do want to try though. It is a big question that a lot of people have. Will this fit in a standard 1200 flight case? Let's find out. I have one. I've never tried to put this in there. You saw me unbox these things, but it is a pretty standard question. So, standard 1200, nothing special about it. Black on black Odyssey case. It does fit some foam, some shimming. 
Uh, it will fit in there. Um, will it fit with power cables hooked up? If you get right angle and left angle cables, you should be able to leave them plugged in and still gig with them in their cases. Um, so, hopefully that question is answered for you guys. You don't have to get new cases. If you get the new 12s, they will fit in your existing cases. Well, that is it for the unboxing of the Rain 72 and 12. Once again, I am DJ Plant from the Hit Squad DJs Northwest. Uh, once again, I want to thank AGI Pro DJ for allowing me to come down and pick these up this morning and uh, do this unboxing for everybody out there on the interwebs. And once again, thanks again to Rain. And uh, hope this has been uh, really good for you guys. Thanks again.